Welcome back, guys, to Texas Tea, where I bring on guests that are local to our great state who are entrepreneurs, hustlers, and prodigies, and they tell you their story, and hopefully you guys can pick up some advice from them, some life experiences from them, and be able to apply them in your own. Today's guest is really good at picking up a bunch of titles. Uh, one might say he's really good at collecting them. He's a three-time Brazilian national champion for jiu-jitsu, five-time champion in the state of Rio de Janeiro, and that's in a situation where he beat his division and then also went into competition with everyone of a different weight class. So that's very special. And then, of course, he in 2004 became the world champion of Brazilian, Brazilian jiu-jitsu, Luis Rosa. How right. you doing, brother? Good. Thank you. That was a mouthful. It's just because you're such a badass. That's, <laughs> yeah, I had so much to say, man. <laughs> thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So um, first and foremost... Uh, if someone's listening, maybe it's a kid who's maybe in Brazil, U.S., Nash, uh, worldwide, wherever, you know, and he's like, I really want to get into BJJ. Uh, I don't know where to start, but I, I, I love the potential of competing, and I want to become a world champion like yourself one day. Right. What, what would be, like, the biggest takeaway that you can give him or her? Oh, so so like normally when I see like uh, we can recognize like who is gonna be a champion. Okay. Like uh, sometimes the person have a lot of talent, okay. but they are lazy. Okay. So they're not gonna they're not gonna go anywhere. Oh yeah, I we, got you. We can try to help. If he's a kid, you 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 can help them to change their their mentality. Okay. Because like basically to be a champion, it is, it is just the way you think. You have to change the way you think to be a to be a champion. And uh, I can see that and I can recognize. And uh, one of the worst advice you can give to somebody who has a potential is to say, you are very good. Okay. Because if you say he's very good, he create a block in his mind and then make him don't train hard anymore because he's really good, so you don't need to train okay. hard. Normally, when, uh, like, like the person who believes that, that, like, they don't have talent, it is the one who train more. Okay. Because he don't have the talent, so he needs to train more than everybody. That this is the sense. one who big, the, 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 like the, is going to become a champion. Got you. So go to someone who really already knows the art, and they'll be able to kind of see where your head's at. And then they'll be able to help mold you to someone who always wants to get better and better and better. So it's a mindset thing more than anything. Oh, yeah. Like, like uh, another thing, like, uh, like uh, Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu don't help you only – uh like how to fight mm -hmm. but teach you how to think right so in brazilian jiu-jitsu you learn how to think under pressure mm -hmm. under pressure is when you make the most mistakes yeah with everything in life of course yeah you understand? Mm -hmm. like uh ego make you take bad decisions ego in brazilian jiu-jitsu is terrible mm -hmm. make you lose a fight you understand? so the more you 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 improve your uh your jiu-jitsu your skills is you improve your life outside you okay. because like a like a belt for me or my school i see as a life improvement ah. no as a like like excuse like oh now you know 50 techniques now you know 100 techniques no like how you think are you getting like mental uh, uh mature this, this is how a belt is about for me so progressing in jiu-jitsu seems to be progressing mentally in your own life yes it's hand in hand Yes, because you. you had to really understand yourself gotcha. to be good in jiu-jitsu. Yes. And by the way, just so everyone can hear you a little bit better, if you could bring the mic yeah, yeah. <laughs> a little bit yeah, forward, yeah. up up and forward. What do you think? Uh, oh, no, that's good? Okay, never mind. I'm, okay. an, I'm an asshole. So. <laughs> <laughs> no, I really like, I really like that. Uh, I never really understood it was that closely intertwined where it's such a, such a, your life, because I'm, let me back up. I've, I've had friends who were in BJJ and it always seemed like it was like part of their life and yes. not just an activity that they were doing. Yes, yes, yes. Jiu Jitsu is very like different because people become like they, they really start like enjoying and uh, they see how their life is improving, like not just like healthy, mm -hmm. but like in the way they, they think. I have a lot of, a lot of uh, like, like, uh, like doctors, lawyers, 
business guys and that uh, they improve the way they think so they 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 can improve on their like own jobs okay life and everything i uh i've been told i should get into bjj because it would help me be more serene mm -hmm. yeah no like like a jiu-jitsu like uh we try to to balance your emotion like uh when i said with kids we have some kids like very shy we try to give more confidence sometimes you get kids very aggressive you try to calm him down so jiu-jitsu to be good in jiu-jitsu you have to balance your your emotions okay how were you as a kid when you started i was very shy okay and uh i like to say like uh, that's why i compete so much like uh, like uh, if you have a circle of friends like talking i was outside the circle <laughs> nobody <laughs> really? wanted to talk to me because i was very shy and i never and i never said nothing i was not like uh like a kid who can like communicate so when when i start competing and i start becoming good in jiu-jitsu I remember I was in the Rio Janeiro State Championship, mm -hmm. and and then they called my name, Luis Rosa, mm -hmm. Matt One. So people wanted to see me fighting. So like they all like start running to my match to see me. Yeah. And then I start liking that. I say, wow. Before nobody pay attention to me. Now everybody running to see me and then talk to me and take pictures. So this made me want to train more, to to bring more attention. How old, how old were you when you were, that situation you talked about, how old were you during that Right, time? so on this situation, I was like, uh, I was like uh, 14 years old. Oh, and, wow. uh, and I started to see, okay, I won that. Because I started with this when I was six years old with my older brothers. My two, uh, my two older brothers like came home with a gi, like a white gi, I didn't know what that means. Yeah. <laughs> I just see like, okay, they have a, like, like a strange clothes there. Like, <laughs> <laughs> and they say, hey, let's go train Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. So, okay, so and then I went with them, and then I keep, like, watching the class for, like, 30 days. I was just watching. And uh, and then, like, uh, my professor said, hey, come and train. Why, why don't you come and train? I said, no, because you don't have kids. Because, like, like in 92, when I started, didn't have kids on the mat. Like, uh, it was not normal to see, like, kids training. Mm. Jiu-Jitsu was very aggressive. And uh, and then I just started training. Then I like, and I started training like jujitsu and judo. Mm -hmm. Like uh, two hours before jujitsu, I was doing judo, and then doing jujitsu. So, so I started training like four hours a day at the beginning. <laughs> and then my professor took me to, to a competition. Then I started like compete. Mm -hmm. When this this situation happened with me, and I started say, okay, like now they 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 are giving attention to me. Yeah. Because I'm being good in this thing. It's <laughs> like so then. Is when I keep training more, and then I start compete, and I start travel, and and then I compete. So like nine years old, I start compete, and I never stop. The reality, the, my last competition was 2017. Okay, yeah, you're telling me that. Yeah, you were competing the most. What from 2009? You said 2009 to 2017. Yeah. And in 2009, when I was like, when I decided to stop compete because uh, I was tired yeah. to be competing because I. When you start too young, like in, in the high level competition, you you want to retire young too. <laughs> yeah. So my lower back was hurting, my shoulder, my knees. I popped my knees like 19 times. Oh my god! My lower back is bad. I'm I'm like only 33, but but my body is all like broke. Like uh, yeah. And then 2009, I say, look, I I don't want to compete anymore, and I didn't see a reason to train if I don't want to compete because the only Reason I, I, I was trained Jiu Jitsu was because of competition. Mm. And then a friend of mine, like Amal Eastern from, from Colorado, he has like uh, 12 schools in Colorado. And he has like a lot of uh, UFC fighters over there. Mm. He went to my city and then he invited me to, to help him to teach a couple, couple fighters over there. And then I, I, and then I came to the US without speaking any English, just with my, my black belt and my gi. <laughs> 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 so if anyone uh, talked any trash about your lack of English, <laughs> <laughs> right, yeah, no, no, my, my English right now like like a black belt compared to 2009. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So so that that must have been a, a crazy transition G coming from Brazil to to the U.S. Like you said, not speaking any English. Right. Um. How did you how did you overcome being in a completely new setting and you said you were already shy as a kid yes and now you're not able to easily communicate how did you overcome that well like jiu-jitsu jiu-jitsu give you confidence okay yeah you know I, I think like uh, this is the biggest thing like a uh, like uh, me and my wife 
my wife, she, uh, she's a black belt, too, and we teach a uh, woman self defense. Mm. And uh, and uh, the biggest thing we we uh, that we tell them is the confidence, because people when when they want to pick on you, is uh, they want to see if you are easy target, mm. right? So so you should to give you confidence. So if you are not easy target, nobody gonna pick on you. So so you don't have probably bullying, like a yeah. woman's not gonna be attacked. Yeah. Yeah. So <clears throat> and also help you with uh, communication because you don't. Sometimes you don't communicate because you don't have confidence. And uh, sometimes when you're a kid and then you and then you communicate a lot, sometimes your parents say, hey, stop talking, talk too much. No, no, let them talk. They have a very, very strong skill. Yeah. Like communication, especially like right now, you have to know how to communicate. And a lot of parents make this mistake, say, hey, stop talking, talk too much. Right? Yeah. <laughs> they, they're talking. So no no don't do that. I said no. I was very shy. Let this kid talk. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> let him talk. You know what I'm saying? Because you don't it's want great. you don't want to stop him from being confident. Yes, yeah. yes, yes, yes. Like uh, when they 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 talk to me, they talk to everybody. This means they they have confidence. Right. And uh, so when you did come to the states, even though there was that language barrier, you're already confident you're going to figure it out. Yeah, yeah. So what did you dive into to get acclimated to living here? To, I'm sure there was a BJJ community that made it easy, but what, were, what was like the key? Uh, I'm, I'm trying to get, what I'm trying to get to is if you have, if someone's coming from Brazil, let's say someone's coming right. from Brazil, same situation as you, English is not their first language or they don't know it at all. What would you say like, this is what I did to get myself immersed and in, 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 in get into the community? Yeah, so Texas made me learn English because okay. in Colorado, I was very, uh, uh, like, was very too comfortable. Okay. People were trying to speak uh, uh, Portuguese. I have a translator to translate my, my uh. classes. So it made me very lazy. So in 2013, when I moved to Texas, uh, San Antonio, then Houston, okay. I and went to the school and then I started learning English. <clears throat> let me let me uh, let me back up. So when you went to Colorado, that was Shaw, with Shaw, right, Brandon Shaw? Yeah, uh, I was uh, Brandon Shaw, Nathan Marquardt, and uh, Shane Calvin. Okay, and so you were you were helping them train. <clears throat> yes, yes. And, and yes, so you were already a superstar over there. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So so it was easy for me because mm -hmm. I came as a as a, like high level black belt. So people were just like they want to give everything they can. Yeah. She will help you so you can feel comfortable so you, so you can stay. Yeah. I was like going like back and forth to Brazil because I didn't want to live here until like I moved to Texas. It's like Texas yeah. made me <laughs> want to stay here. Yeah, so yeah. then like, like 2014 was the one I said, okay, I don't want to keep going back to Brazil anymore. I, I want to stay here. Okay. Was when I decided because before I was just like, no, I want to, I just come here, I teach them and then I come back to Brazil. Like, and, uh, and uh, I stayed probably like five years like that, like back and forth, like four or five years. Like I didn't want to leave in U.S. I want, I want to just come here just to teach and then come back. Yeah. And then 2014, when I said no, I want to stay. here. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Took a long time for me to to want to stay. Now I love, uh, especially like uh, Houston. So, so when I go to Colorado to visit, like. My second day, I already come back. I already <laughs> want to come back to Houston. And say, yeah. what Houston have? They like, like made me love this place so much. <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Col well, Colorado is definitely way colder. <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> that's for sure. That's for sure. And uh, when you were when you uh, went to Colorado, how? By the way, how did uh, how did that all happen? Like, how did you meet Brandon? How did you meet everyone? Oh, so so the school owner, Amal Easton, he went to Brazil mm -hmm. to my city. And uh, and uh, he was in the beach, and he said, "Hey, I want to train jiu jitsu. Like, uh, I don't know any anyone good around here." And then they they gave my phone number to him, and then he called me, and then I met him. He speaks like a like a fluent Portuguese guy. He lived in Brazil for wow. for three years. He's a he's American, and uh, we rode for like one hour, and then he was like very very impressed with me. And they said, hey, "Man, I have a couple of UFC fighters, and I need the help." Over there, my school. Can you uh, can you go to Colorado to teach them? And then, and then I took my visa, my my green card, uh, my 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 passport, and then I came for for one month, and then I stayed three months, <laughs> and then I come back to Brazil, and then I came to stay three months, and then I stay five months. Oh, nice! And then I keep going like 
one month and then I stay like five. Yeah. Always like that. So so some year I was staying here like like uh nine months in US and then three months in Brazil. Okay. I got you. Yeah. And then event and so and then it took Texas for you to really want to stay here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, look, that is crazy. Huh? <laughs> that is crazy. That is crazy. Very hot here. Yeah, <laughs> it is like very it. hot here. Well, I mean I, I would think that the at least temperate wise, Bra- Brazil is, is kinda similar, right? Yeah, so no 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 he's very hot. Like I like I remember like two thousand twelve. Yeah. I went to Dallas to teach a seminar. Mm-hmm. And I, and I get out the 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 airport. Me and my wife, I say, I'm never gonna live in this place. <laughs> it's super hot. Look like you open the oven. Like yeah, it's yeah. hot. <laughs> I never like felt that. Yeah. Like that. Like a like a that hot before. Yeah, it's pretty. It gets pretty crazy. Yeah, yeah. And then 2004, then so I want to live here, and I was in Houston. Like, yeah, I want to stay here. <laughs> <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> well that's that's we're glad the we're glad you stayed everyone's glad you stayed especially i'm sure your students now oh yeah they, yeah yeah they yeah. love it um the other thing i was going to talk about was uh you had mentioned this off the air and uh you said when you were competing it was like a specific a specific quote that you said but uh, i'll have you maybe say it again because what what does it take to compete at that level where you're just the the collector of champions? Oh yeah, <laughs> no, like uh, basically you had to suffer more than everybody. Suffer more than everybody. Yeah, that's the term you said. You yeah, to suffer more than everyone. Yeah, you had to suffer more than everyone so you can be a champion to be yeah. a successful person. Like uh, like uh, like one example when I was in Brazil on 2009 when I want you to be a competitor, like uh, when I have like holidays, I said okay. Today's the time that I have to pass my 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 opponent because I was training like a, like a ten hours a day, eating a, like perfect diet, working out. So everybody can do this, but what can I do extra to pass them? Mm. So holidays, summer, weekends, you understand? Know like when people are like resting, it is the time that I had to pass them. So this is how I see. So right now I'm op- open my business. I don't have time to start. I don't have time to finish weekends. I don't have weekends. So for me, any any day, any time is it is like time to work. It is it is like a, what you can do extra is what's gonna make you succeed in sport or business, anything. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, so, I completely agree. So this is my mindset to to compete, and then now I put into to, to my business. Well, I have a feeling then. Active Jiu Jitsu is gonna become a multi location franchise. I don't know for sure. <laughs> like uh I tell everybody like I like I never want to be just one more. When example is my black belt. Mm-hmm. I go promote twice to my black belt. This this like no happy with nobody. Yeah. So my so everybody was like very uncomfortable to see me as a brown belt. Mm-hmm. They don't want to see me as a brown belt. They say, hey man, he needs to get promoted to black belt. Yeah. This guy's beating everybody. Yeah. But I didn't want to be just one more black belt. I want to be like like the star. So okay. I say, I'm not ready to be the star. I, like like on this level, I'm just one good black belt. I want to be a phenomenon. So I talk to my instructor, I say, can you hold me one more year? So I so I can like win a couple more like like tournaments making something like complete different so they can pay attention to me. So when I go to the black belt, everybody's already like scared. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, and then like I had the belt promotion, then like um, everybody was pressuring him and then he took his belt and then he put on me. And then I said, man, I talked to you. Like, I can, can, can I stay one more year my bra- uh, on my brown belt? And then next day I was with my brown belt in the gym and, and like people think, oh, okay. Like he don't have money to buy the belt. I can buy the belt for you. Say, no, no, I'm going to say one more year. So, and then I won the Brazilian National again. I won South American, Pan American, Rio de Janeiro State, Division Absolute. So, this year I made, like, in the Rio de Janeiro State, I made 13 fights. I submitted 11. Like, wow. uh, 13 fights in one day. Wow. And I submitted 11 fights. And then I got promoted to my black belt. So, we, uh, with my gym, it's the same thing. Like, uh, for, for a long time, I have... I have a lot of opportunity to open the school, but I never opened because I never felt like I don't want to be in one more gym in Houston. I want yeah. to be the gym. Like people is going to be talking about the gym all over. You know what yeah, I'm saying? Yeah. So I keep like preparing this moment for a long time 
it should not be just one more gym. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like sometimes if you if you try to do like too fast, you don't gonna have the the same result. You know what I'm saying? So it seems like So I have patience. <laughs> yeah, you have a lot of patience and you perfected your art at each level. Yeah. Yeah. Uh what a and and I'm, man, your drive. By the way, impressive drive. Oh my god. <laughs> Uh, I'm sure you're human like everyone's and uh, I think what a lot of us, especially business owners, entrepreneurs, we definitely have down days. I'm sure you've had down days. Oh yeah. What was your like <clears throat> way to keep yourself going? What, what was like your why, like your real strong why or, or maybe a sort of a hack that no, you no, use for yourself? Don't you have to, to expect the bad days already? Oh, so, okay. So, so you when, know they're coming. Yeah. So. So when they come, you don't you don't get surprised, right? <laughs> <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I know something wrong is gonna happen. Okay. Let's so say like uh, I, I always have work to don't let this day come, but it will. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay. And it is impossible. Like it doesn't matter how well you are, you 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 prepare yourself. Something is gonna, like like be wrong. Yeah. Even even the competition, like uh, like uh, you can be like very very good like a, like like a physical level mental level technical and then you're gonna find somebody that that like uh that like that your game doesn't fit with him and that you have trouble with him you might win the fight but you're gonna have a lot of like a lot of trouble okay and uh i prepare myself to 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 open my school even like Right now, I have a problem with my website. That's enough. I never expect I have a problem with my website. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, but I don't care. I just keep working and then I, I just keep pushing. I say, these are going to stay forever. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can fix in a couple of days. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, like uh, if somebody's on top of me, like putting pressure, pressure me, let's say, he cannot do this forever. I'm going to escape. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's, it's looking at it from a, it's looking at it from a sense of no matter what you do, you're going to have down days. You're going to have adversity. So instead of being surprised, mm -hmm. you're just like, Oh yeah, here it is. <laughs> I've, yeah, been, yeah. I've been waiting for you. Yeah. If, if I already happened. Yeah. You like, like, uh, this is how I think if you can, uh, solve the problem, Mm -hmm. Just solve the problem. If you can, now the problem is already solved, <laughs> <laughs> right? Yeah, yeah, <laughs> so, yeah. So why you worry about? It? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so you either can or you can't. <laughs> yeah, you can awesome. or you can't. Awesome. And I like the other thing that you're saying too, where like, if someone, if you're in a fight with another individual in BJJ, and they're putting pressure on you. And it's a situation you feel like you can't get out of. They can't do it forever. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. They're gonna get tired. They're gonna. So, so Jiu Jitsu really teach you how to deal with pressure, how to think. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Because let's say I'm a fighting, uh, like we are like, a, we have a Jiu Jitsu match. Uh, I want to make you give up. The only way I'm going to make you give up is by like frustrating. Mm. If you get frustrated, you let me win. So, so you don't, so if, if you don't want to let me win, you don't want to get frustrated. Because okay. you know this is what I want. Yeah. So for example, somebody wants to fight against me on the street. If I fight, they win already, even if I beat them. Because this is what they want. Mm, so I so saying. I so I don't let them win. <laughs> I don't fight. So that, that's good. <laughs> you know that's saying? good. So it's uh I th I think that's a lot of people deal with that anger, frustration, loved ones or not loved ones. Right. Where the the moment that person pisses you off, it's, it's not. It's an ego. Yeah, yeah. Ego is evil, right? Yeah, e yeah. Ego is terrible. Like uh, sometimes you lose. Like uh, I have a student. I always I talk about this. In 2015 or 16, the, I don't remember the year. He was in the world championship, mm. and uh, people made him believe that he's a very good God passer. Who is this? Sorry. Uh, he's one student of mine. Okay. And uh, like a God pass, like a, so. So one example. So. Uh, if you're on board in the fight, mm -hmm. I want you to pass your guard. I want you to pass your legs. Okay. Once I pass your legs, I pass your guard. So everybody say, man, you are like one, one of the best guard passers mm -hmm. that I ever see. So he believe in that. So he finds somebody in the world championship that stop him. Yeah. He stop him completely. Look like that guy created a wall for him. Ah. 
But because people made him believe that he's like one of the best God person, like he keep trying, he keep trying, but I said, no, he's not gonna pass. That guy blocked all the sides. Like he needs to disengage or maybe let that guy put him down so he can end up in better position. But because he believe that he's a, the best on that position, he cannot see. Yeah. He so, was not able to see. So he's clouded by his own mm -hmm. mind. Yes. So something that someone would think is a very positive thing, being known as the best, was actually his handicap because he was unable to just accept the situation Yeah. and, and realize that there was a different route than what he's used to. Well, you have to be very, very mature to see like uh, the reality. I'm saying like, like some people say, Oh, Luis, I don't see you losing. I say, I see. <laughs> <laughs> so I don't believe in that. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Because, exactly. Uh, like, like uh, they are not saying that to, to make you, like, uh, to be bad. They just, like, want to, to give you accomplishment. But this is very bad. Yeah. If you don't know how to do it. Yeah. You know it's, what I'm saying? It's, I learned how to do it. Yeah. Yeah, no, it's, cra it's crazy, too, because it's good, good or bad. Praise or critiques uh either one can hurt you because if someone keeps telling you you're bad at something that also brings you down right yes but um but you did say in the beginning that when you first bring in kids to train you definitely don't want to build up their ego mm -hmm. you know, right you, there's there's gotta so what's the middle ground how do you find the middle ground to keep someone motivated but not too big of a dick <laughs> yeah 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 like a like a So let me just like a, like a talk about my situation. That's why I think like that. Yeah. When I was a blue belt, I was a blue belt for three years and a half and I was submitting everybody and everybody say, man, I don't see you losing to nobody. Yeah. And then I got promoted to my poor belt and then I want to fight for one advantage for like referee decision. They say, no, I can't lose. <laughs> <laughs> and then like, I got afraid to lose the other tournament. So don't frustrate my, my training partners, my family, People who believe that I don't lose. Yeah. And then I just start compete when I, when I got promoted to the new belt. Okay. And then my, my father was very smart. He, he saw the situation and then uh, he contacted a psychologist. And then I started going to the psychologist. And then she started helping me. She helped me until like, like, like for probably like 10 years, I was like talking to her. And uh, she's very good. And well, uh, What was the biggest hang up that she find? Yeah, this is like a, like, like you're not invincible, you know what I'm saying? And, uh, uh, and they had to enjoy it because sometimes you go fight. For example, you train like jiu-jitsu every day and then have a competition. And then you have sometimes your girlfriend or wife or your friend say, man, you train every day. You must win this tournament. <laughs> <laughs> so now you don't fight against your opponents only. Now you fight against every, everyone in the back. Oh yeah. It is impossible to fight against 50 people. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So so that time it is your time. You know what I'm saying? So it's only you and your opponent. Don't worry about what other people think about you. That this is gonna be like very, very heavy mm, on your back. You know what I'm saying? Like uh and uh, that's why I like 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 I'm very careful when I want to give like uh some like say, hey man, you're good. Like uh like uh Like one example, I have a daughter, she's like a, a one year and a half, and my wife, she's studying a lot uh, uh, psychology. And, uh, and they're like, let's say she, she take like a very, very, like, and she take like a, like a perfect grade in the school. If you say Louisa, her name is Louisa. Louisa, that's you're kind of, very that's smart. That's kind of funny, Louisa and Louisa. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Louisa, you're very smart. That, that's why you're doing a great, a good grade. And then next time she's not going to start anymore, and then, and then she's going to take a bad grade. Right. Louisa, you took a, a good grade because you, you push yourself, you studying a lot. Yeah. So she understand what? She took a good grade because she's studying, not because she's smart. Right. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So it's like two little things can change a lot. And that kids, like, it's easy to, to go for the bad way. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So you say, look, you, you won this tournament because you push yourself, because you train more than everybody. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Not because you are phenomenal. You know what I'm saying? Not because you, are, you learn fast. What would you, say, uh, what would you say to your student then to make sure he didn't get it, that he approached that 
fight differently? What would how would you have built him up then? So he was in California and, and I was here uh, uh, watching through through the TV. So I was not able to scream at him oh. to help him. So I was yeah. like very frustrated. I I don't like to 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 scream in the tournament like hey do this or that because that is his moment. Yeah. Everything that I had to do, I did uh, before. Hmm. But the problem is like uh, it is not only me. Like I have a lot of people like talking. Man, you're gay. Uh, uh, so, so you're so only man, one person. So yeah, yeah. So else. man, so man, you're great. You this, you that. So family, like girlfriends, like a uh, training partner. Everybody saying you're very good, and you believe in that. And that if you're not mature enough to to know how to how to measure like how good you are yeah. or not, is when you lose. So you kind of have to you have to be able to accept a compliment. Just the same way as you accept the criticism. Yes. Except like, if you're like, if, if Luis, you're like, hey, Roger, you're a, um, you know, a great business owner. I should be like, oh, awesome, thank you. But I should never, if I have a bunch of people telling me that, then all of a sudden I'm gonna slack off and be like, well, I'm already here. But I think the way that you can change that is I could accept the compliment and be so grateful that you complimented me, but also realize that it's not about the outside. It's about the process always. It's always yes. about the process. Yeah. yeah, so like like, like people say, hey, Luis, I'm very good at jiu-jitsu. I say, yeah, because I train for 27 years every day. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I'm good at jiu-jitsu. <laughs> there you go. There you go. If I stop, I'm not, because I'm not good anymore. <laughs> right, right. Saying? So it's a, con- it's a constant battle. No pun intended. So so you cannot be like too happy with, with accomplishment, and you cannot be... Like to them when somebody criticizes you, too. Yeah, yeah. That's another thing too. Yeah, because people start if they hear the negative enough, they gotta they gotta find a way to just block it out. Right. And just be like they don't they don't know anything, you know. And that <laughs> and so, sometimes uh, this is another thing that I uh, the uh, the like like uh, this happened a lot with me. Sometimes I was doing things that I didn't want to do. Mm-hmm. I was just doing because people was pushing me. Mm. So I was not a hundred percent in the you know saying on that thing. So uh, so an example, like when I was uh on two thousand nine, there was like uh when I was like I want to compete, I was training ten hours a day, very happy. Mm-hmm. Hurting myself and keep training. Uh two thousand ten and two thousand seventeen I was just going just to make other people happy. So I I was not a hundred percent in there. So like was like Luis is not good. No, no, no. He just don't want that. Uh, okay. You know what I'm saying? Like you are pushing me to do this. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I got you. I got you. And the and the and the the more mature you get, you start again. Like you know what? I do for, like like I don't want to make you happy. I I want to make myself happy. So when you when you get to this stage, is when you are like really happy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it's uh, not only the time that you're putting in but it's also the passion yeah, you enjoy yes yeah you need to yeah, enjoy, you enjoy. You, if you don't enjoy you're never gonna be good yeah you know like a, that's why uh me and my wife we teach kids <clears throat> and uh and uh some guys say like oh Luis, you need to make the parents happy so you can have a good business and no i need to make the kids happy right if they don't want to train they're not gonna learn yeah Jiu-Jitsu, it is like a, you have to understand your body. So it's a very complicated thing. Look, e- like when I explain, it is easy. But if you never heard about it, it's completely different. <laughs> like yeah. a, you're never going to be able to figure it out by yourself. So if they are not happy, they don't learn. So this is what another thing like a, like a, like a people have to understand and then respect that person. You are really happy doing this. Or you're doing because I'm pushing. Hmm. Yeah, you know saying so. So this happened with kids. So the kids, uh, they had to enjoy. So we make sure they're gonna enjoy the class, and then they keep like putting like like levels. So you go like a little bit harder, a little bit harder, little by little, gonna push and then putting more more responsibility. Yeah. On them, but in the beginning, just like let's have fun. Yeah, you know saying like uh, understand this jujitsu. No, that totally makes sense because if you if if you're having someone push you into it and you don't have the same drive pulling you, you just, it's eventually you're going to push back. <laughs> oh, yeah. yeah. I did this a lot. <laughs> I did this a lot, a lot with, with a lot of people. I didn't want to, like, sometimes you, know, you, 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 
you don't want to be with this person you don't want to do this you don't want to do that and they're just doing just like people pushing you mm-hmm. but this is another way to suffer you understand you like like the reality you are like suffering inside mm-hmm. you understand you don't really want to to do that so so one example right now i'm super happy with my gym i'm a hundred percent in there look like when i was a competitor in high level competition i'm like a hundred percent in there anytime like sundays like 10 p.m if i had to be there I will. yeah <laughs> you know what I'm saying? so i don't really care like time because i really enjoy right but if you don't want oh 5 p.m i had to go yeah <laughs> you know <what> <laughs> no, exactly exactly yeah you push yourself through the downtime i've had trouble with that a lot too myself is uh because sometimes I'll, I'll my body will just be tired Mm-hmm. And I got, I have to remind myself what I'm doing things for. Some days you just can't do it and you're just, you need rest. Yeah, like everyone yes. needs rest, but, oh, yeah, yeah. but, uh, but yeah, I'll just, I would take a moment, meditate for myself mm-hmm. and then, uh, get back to it. <laughs> yeah. No meditation helps a lot. And, uh, and, uh, and, uh, people ask me, Hey, what do you do besides your shit? I say, I like to read and be by and be alone. <laughs> yeah. Nice. So, so I like to read about like a like a philosophy psychology like a like i love this kind of stuff guys make me understand myself so i can understand somebody else yeah so i can help them right yeah same guys in, awesome. in jiu-jitsu like most of the people who come to train jiu-jitsu they come for self-defense sometimes they come to lose weight sometimes they come for to meet like new friends or sometimes they have a problem like uh they're like like uh like uh depressed you know what I'm so you had to be able to uh. To recognize each each student as a different, you know, sense so you can help each one. So, yeah. so like philosophy and the psychology like really help me to help them. There's a there's a good book I'm rereading right now called uh, Letting Go by Dr. Hawkins. Okay, good. Have you heard it? I'll text you it later. Okay, it's, thank it's, you. I, I, I love it. It's about um, it's about being aware of emotions and and the biggest thing is not resisting <clears throat> your emotions. If you're angry, don't act out. But like, just be aware and like, just be like, okay, cool. Like I'm angry, but just let it go. Like, don't try to fight it. Don't try to make it better. Like, yes. okay, I'm angry. Just, all right. Yes. <laughs> Let's just get yeah, through so, it. So I really understand what makes me angry. Yeah, exactly. I know. So I, I don't want to go to that direction. I go around. Yeah. You know so when you are able to understand your, your emotion, you become a smarter person. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Oh, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you yeah, become yeah. a lot smarter because... You know what make you frustrated, what you make you like, like uh, angry, and you know so you can. Okay, I don't want to keep going there, so yeah. I'm going go around. Yeah, you know yeah. Like, this is gonna be bad. Don't put yourself in the same situation. Yeah. <laughs> I actually uh, another thing too is with people, you could be around the same people all the time, and they're just making your life miserable, or you're making yourself miserable because you're putting yourself around those people. Right. Yeah. You yeah. can, and you can't change how they act, but you can change. I you avoid know. very easy. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I avoid very easy. It's like, like uh, I just don't be with them. I say, look, if I don't feel good with them, why I keep going there? So yeah, I just yeah. stop going. Yeah. So a lot of people keep doing the same thing, and and then like uh, sometimes they don't they don't understand. In the reality, they know, but they don't have courage to change. Mm. This is what this one like uh, think like a uh, like, like one that. example. A lot of people ask me, then you, Luis, uh, what I need to do to be a world champion. I say, you know, you, you just want an easy uh, uh, solution. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah. you know, in the end of, like, like deep on your heart, you know yeah. they what have, they need to do. You said they know what they need to do, but they don't have the courage to do it. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, because they, they want you to find an easy way. So, so one example, have a couple magazines say, uh, be fit in 21 days. So it's impossible. Yes. That's true. If, if you put like be fit in 10 years, okay, makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> be fit in 10 years. Yeah. I, I don't know. You could do it in a year probably. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. One year, yes. Like, uh, no, because like, uh, like, uh, like uh, so, so today, like people want to think like fast and easy. So that's why like jiu-jitsu, it is very hard for a lot of people because jiu-jitsu is not fast. Hmm. Because it's not about like learning techniques and then apply techniques. It's about, um, manage your 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 your, your emotion and yeah. that, that take a long time to understand yourself and then for you can have the right timing to apply the technique you know saying like make your body understand that movement so it's not like in two years you're gonna get promoted to a black but sometimes take 
like six or ten years. Yeah. To get promoted. And you were saying you're so you're you're training kids. How do you explain to kids <clears throat> that they gotta be patient? Oh, so each belt for kids like take like one year. Oh wow. Yeah, one year for each belt. So they're forced to be patient. Yeah, yeah, they're forced. To be, yeah, so so we we don't focus on the belt. We make them enjoy jujitsu. Okay. So so one example right now, Brazil jujitsu have like a lot of belts, stripes and belts. So have like eleven stripes for each belt, so you can promote each stripe for every month. You give one stripe. Uh, they add a lot of different belts, so it can make kids like motivating. I don't agree with that because. You had to make them stronger. <clears throat> and uh, when I was a kid, you just didn't have stripes and, and I didn't have like that many belts. Mm. I, I stayed in two belts, kids' belts, for nine years. Mm. We don't complain because I was enjoying the training yeah. I don't care about like what is holding my, my gi. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to train jiu-jitsu. I want yeah. to be good in jiu-jitsu. You know but today, because the social media, you want to look good in social media, so... It is better have a higher belt, not a white belt, <laughs> when yeah. you take a picture. <laughs> right, of course, <laughs> right? Of course. So you want to do things fast. And yeah. with jiu-jitsu, don't work like that because jiu-jitsu is real. You know what I'm saying? You, you cannot fake. So when you, you are on the mat, I can tell everything about your life. I know if you're very aggressive, if you're shy, if you give up easy, hmm. if you don't give up easy, you know what I'm saying? So I... I recognize like everybody personalities when when I'm when I'm uh, on the mat. Okay. I can see everyone like uh, I'm on the mat every day for 27 years. So yeah, I grab your gi. I feel uh, I already feel your your personality, how you act uh, uh like uh like uh outside the outside. mat. Yeah, that's that's crazy. But mm-hmm. you have so much experience. Oh yeah, yeah. No, no. This is natural for me for for my body. Like sometimes like. People hear me like how, like uh, how you can see this, but I don't know. I just it's natural for me already because yeah. I see like too many people, <clears throat> like for too many years, that you know, like traveling, like training for a lot of different people, and it's really really easy to see each one's like a like a personality. That's why it is easy to see young kids who's gonna be a um, like a world champion or not. You understand? So and then uh, to help a kid is much easier. A dude is a little bit harder because the older you get, hard is will be for you to change. But a kid is very easy. Yeah. So you can see you can see what they're lacking in, or they need to improve on pretty quickly, and then you just move them in that direction. Yeah. So so like a, like a two years ago, I got a kid. She was very very aggressive, <clears throat> and uh, and then like one time when I was like like Saturday. And uh, his mom show up, and I said, "Okay, now he's gonna come down when he sees his mom." No, he got more more aggressive. Oh. And I said, "Okay, the problem is not him. The problem is his mom." <laughs> yeah. Or, or, so so normally, you so uh, your child just do what uh, what you teach them. You understand know that like uh, <clears throat> they don't know nothing. You give everything to them. Mm. And I see this in Jesus too. So so when you show up, doesn't matter your age, from from me. You're just like a child. You you don't know how to how to walk on a mat, how to tie a belt, how to tie your pants. I had to teach everything. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And I see the belt progression as a like like a like a blue belt. Not now you're like like a teenager. Mm-hmm. <laughs> like you're 15 years old. Purple belt, brown belt, black belt is when you start like be a adult and then you start like because <clears throat> and uh and uh, most of the problem with the kids, so it, it is the parents. The way they they treat the kids, and that and that they they don't do this for for bad, they just never is starting to to sometimes to to raise the kids. You know, saying like, because everybody think about like, oh okay, like I want to make sure he's not gonna get sick, mm-hmm. and he's eating well. But what about his mind? Yeah, the way he think, this is gonna make a like a like a, a huge difference in, on the, his like life. That's re- that's a really interesting point you made there that uh, and i'm not a parent so i'll get roasted if i give any advice but uh (laughs) but it's a very interesting point that you make that uh it seems parents focus on the material more than the mental yes uh, yeah and it's and i think and and i personally am a big proponent of that i think everyone should see a psychologist uh everyone should get 
there. Oh yeah. Yeah, because it's like your your life you carry all this baggage, right? And it's right. gotta be unwound, it's gotta be unpacked. <laughs> yeah, so 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 one of my daughter she's like she's like one and a half. If if she scream and then I scream back because I'm frustrated because she's screaming, she will understand, okay, always when I'm frustrated or always when I want something, I need to scream. Yes. So this is what she's gonna do because she she learning what, what I'm giving to her. Right, right. So when she scream, I don't scream. <laughs> Otherwise, yeah. she goes, oh, okay, so, so I need to scream. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Kids are super moldable, man. Oh, they're, yeah. they're a blank slate when they they, uh, yeah. they come into the world. And uh, Jiu-Jitsu helps a lot, but of course, we need the the parents' help too. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Like, it's not just like, some, like uh, sometimes we put the child to train like, uh, like, like, uh, like, uh, like, uh, like uh, two times a week one hour per class uh, like like uh each day and, and then you expect that i should change their life yeah we're not gonna be able to change their life like uh, we need your help you know yeah. so this is what do we you tell we, the parents that oh yeah how do yeah. they usually react no no we are very nice so 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 first we try to build like a like a trustable relationship mm -hmm. we, we make them un understand us and uh and uh, we are very, very friendly to talk to them. Like, a, like a, we had a parent that, 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 that her kid, her son, like, was talking to a lot. She said, yeah. oh, you talk too much. So, you know, let him talk. And then we, we put him to be instructor. Mm. So, and then, like, every class, he was teaching the, the warm-up. Mm. He was extremely happy. Yeah. Because <laughs> he can talk to everybody. Right. He's a great leader. Yeah. But his mom see him as, like, oh, he talk too much. <laughs> yes, and no, no, no. He's a great leader. Like uh, he talk, and uh, he make everybody line up. He, you know, what I'm saying he teach the the warm up. If some new kid come, he help the kid. So I said, man, he's he's great. Yeah. So let him talk. <laughs> you know, what I'm saying and uh, so, and uh, sometimes the parents they 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 uh, they just don't see this way. Yeah, of course they don't. Yeah. And uh, we see, and then we help them. I said, no, no, he he's doing right. Or right. if he's doing something bad, they don't. Don't let him doing this, and some because this is this. Normally, it is because the parents do it, so the kids just copy. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? And, and uh, most of the time, the parents start training jiu-jitsu to help the kids, and then everything improves. That's what's up. So yeah. do, you think this is, do you think this is your defining difference against other, other uh, classes or other... Um, uh, other, I won't say studios, dojo. What's yeah, the term yeah. you want to use? School or, School? or gym, yeah. <coughs> Jiu yeah. Yeah, so I don't offer like um, only like how to to fight because the reality of Jiu-Jitsu for me is not a fight. You know what I'm saying? Like I use the, the techniques to, to, to improve your life. Hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, it is not like, oh, come here, you're going to learn how to beat people. No, no. Yeah. <laughs> no, like in the reality, Jiu-Jitsu. We like to say this in Brazil, Jiu-Jitsu, the more you know, so, sorry, Jiu-Jitsu, the more you need, the less you know. Okay. If you need to use Jiu-Jitsu to fight in the street, this means you don't know Jiu-Jitsu. Yeah. You understand? Because if you know Jiu-Jitsu, you don't want to fight. Yeah. <laughs> so people start training Jiu-Jitsu to defend themselves, and then they never fight. <laughs> <laughs> well, because as you said, as in the moment you fight, the other person wins. Yes, the other person wins, yeah. So it's controlling yourself. Yes. So so for your so for your school it seems it's you're you're advertising more of a life progress, life journey. Yes. Um uh what would you say is the biggest thing you've seen people say that have come to your school that's different to other schools that you've seen? Like what's what's like the standout that's like, you know, active jujitsu is the one to be to, to be at? Oh, so so they like the way I explain the techniques okay. because I talk about the body position. Mm. Because I, uh, so every student they are just able to learn what they can see. <clears throat> so one example, you just show up today on my gym, and then I teach you De La Riva guard. You don't even know what De La Riva is. Yeah. So doesn't matter how well I explain the De La Riva guard, nothing's gonna make sense for you. So I teach you. Uh, how to defend a slap in the face? Everybody know a slap in the face. Yeah. Okay. I, yeah. I want to learn this. Okay. Yeah. And then you take the guy down, and, and then you have a progression. Mm. So, so my curriculum is a it is a progression curriculum. 
everything makes sense and everything okay you you have one day like a class like a like a intermediate level don't gonna make sense for you so you need to come to the self-defense level mm. you understand gotcha. and, and then over there have about 23 lessons and then you finish those those 23 lessons uh those uh 23 lessons and then you jump to intermediate class and plus the explanation i i explain about what your opponent is going to think on this situation how his body had to be to attack you yeah so 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 i teach a lot like uh, i help people to understand about about like a like a body position how they can have more strength than your opponent so someone is in brazilian jiu-jitsu it is a system let's say my opponent it is like big uh, big and it's stronger than me how can i be big and it's stronger than him mm. and you should close the distance because if you can't move your hip, you cannot cut me. Okay, like like with a punch. As soon as I don't let you move your hip, you cannot knock out me anymore by just like moving your arms. Yeah. I close the distance. As soon as I close the distance, I'm gonna use my leg to take you down. Now let's say you are like six foot five and you're too big and then I cannot get close to your head. So I had to pass your legs. Once I pass your legs, you're gonna have only your arms and now I now I'm using my whole body against your arms. Mm. doesn't matter how strong you are my my whole body is stronger than you are yeah <laughs> you yeah, know what I'm yeah yeah now the only way you're going to be able to bring your legs back and then stand up is if you move your body sideways and then escape back so i just keep your body flat <laughs> you know what I'm saying? so it is an easy system that you, if you apply you can take like three classes or like one or three classes you're going to be able to understand and then control somebody in the street oh, because wow. it's a system you had to understand how the body works. So jiu-jitsu is about like big muscles against small muscles. Mm. I don't want to use my arms on your legs. You understand? Know your I, arms on, or legs on your arms. Yes, you understand? Know so yeah. I, I, I want to make you push my whole body. So you're uh -huh. going to get tired and I'm going to have a lot more, more strength than you. Mm. You understand? Know so that's why jiu-jitsu is for uh work for a weak person be the strong person that's why uh, i was able to like i was like uh 155 pounds win open weight division fighting against people like 300 pounds Jesus. because jiu-jitsu is a is a system but most of the gym they don't cheat this way they teach like uh techniques techniques only so you, you don't understand how the body works is when force you to use strength mm -hmm. when you force you to use strength force you to be athletic and that this, this is not the reality for everybody. Most of my students have like, this morning, I teach a black belt a student, he's a lawyer, 62 years old. Oh, wow. If he needs to use his athletic system against somebody 20, he's gonna lose. Yeah. So he needs to understand the system, how it works. Yeah. And that he's very good. I have a student, 65 years old. He's, he's a psychologist. I have like, so most of my students between like 36 to, almost seven years old and uh there's a matter so they don't need flexibility you know they don't need speed they need just to understand how the system works got you uh this is what i give to them so, so the main difference for someone that's coming to you and why you're clearly going to be the best and have multiple schools i hope you yeah. <laughs> no, no no houston have a lot of schools so houston probably have like almost like 100 schools oh wow and uh and uh, very, very good schools. Like, uh, I have a lot of friends here have a, who has a jiu-jitsu schools, and uh, they have a very good programs. Uh, uh, the reason I, I, so a lot of people follow, like, uh, follow big associations. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> I came for a big association in Brazil. The reason I want to do by myself, I just created an active jiu-jitsu because I believe I can provide a better service. Mm. Like, uh, because, like, every big association have a problem and i say i don't want to be dealing with uh, with this kind of problem so i want to create my my own brand and uh, provide the best for my for my uh, student or for my you. clients you know what I'm I because you. i have control yeah. of my business so if i be under a big brand i don't have 100 percent control and that uh, sometimes i have to do what i don't want we yeah. already talk about this yeah yeah and i say i don't want to open my business and then do things that i don't want yeah just because that big brand make me do it you know what i'm saying so i say no i want to be alone so i can give the best 100 percent. yeah well 
I'm excited to see how things grow. Uh, I, yeah, know, yeah. I know you're just starting over there off of Katie Freeway. Uh, I think this is a good time to end it, man. I'm really happy you came on, Luis. It was, uh, it was a pleasure, man. Where, where, if anyone's like in the Houston area, wants the absolute best BJJ training, how can they find you? Oh, so my address is uh, 11 zero twenty. Yeah. Uh, Katie <laughs> Freeway, uh, zip code seven seven zero four three. Uh, 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 suite number one one three. So okay. my name is Luis Rosa, L U I Z R O S A. Yeah, I'm sure uh, uh, Gonzalo will do some magic and uh, put it all. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And the the email is like a uh, contact at activejujitsu.com. It's very easy email. Okay. okay. So I just send. And activejujitsu.com. A C T I V E. Yes. J I U J J I T S U. Yes. Dot com. Yes. <laughs> yes. Activejujitsu.com. So. I was like, uh, I was like, uh, tried to find a name okay. for the gym. I was like, people said, no, ju- just put your name. I said, no, I don't want to put my name because I want people to follow the, uh, this name. Right. And then I started like read a book about uh, judo. And then I saw the word active. <laughs> <laughs> and then I said, okay, let's put active. Yeah. <laughs> this good go. word. I said, okay. So be active, be healthy. I said, okay. So, so I use those, those hashtags on my social media. Yeah. It'll work very well. Well, I think you can have a pretty cool tagline. I, I hope you can use this one day. You're AJJ because you're one step above BJJ. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. There you go. <laughs> the next level, man. Well, uh, thanks for tuning in, guys. Of course, Texas T. Uh, if you want to find us, we're on Facebook as well as we're eventually going to be on TikTok. Uh, but we are on YouTube. If you have any comments, not really able to send any comments through the podcast means uh, the stream, go to our YouTube page, put in the comments. Uh, if you have any questions for Luis, I'm sure he'd love to answer them. So uh, any critiques as well uh, or praises, we'll, we'll just be going about our process regardless, but we will definitely answer you and give you as much of an answer to your questions as possible. Uh, please tune in next time. Subscribe, follow, all that good stuff. And please visit Luis if you are in uh, looking to start BJJ. Anyways, man, it was a pleasure having you on. Thank and, you. And uh, I think we did a good one there. All right. <laughs> thank you.